In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some thought, food for thought, when it comes to the run game in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe. I post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to give you some type of tactical um, tip, tangible concept, or just thought that you can apply into your game that is going to help you get better in Madden 21. Now, um, today's video is really more conceptual. Um, you can apply this from any playbook. It's specifically, I'm going to showcase it to you out of the Arizona Cardinals uh, playbook, which is the playbook that I wrote my entire um, offensive ebook on. And um, you can pick that up in the description if you want to. It's my uh, Arizona full scheme. It's also my 4-6 defense full scheme. So it's the whole playbook um, and, you know, just 25 bucks. It's really, really, really good. A lot of people have gotten a lot of really good um, results from using it. So I'd encourage you to check it out. But anyways, this is a concept that I actually came across in a coaching session I did uh, on this. And I wanted to talk specifically about this concept it doesn't it doesn't have to be from trips it doesn't have to be from spread it's any pistol any pistol play and the concept really is two things um we're going to show you one today we'll show you one tomorrow halfback draw literally i don't and i'm just going against random defenses halfback draws from pistol this year are really, really effective, and here's why. What you get when you run a draw is you get a nice long handoff. What that allows you to do, think about this in Madden 21, especially from Pistol. They're going to run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Well, when you run a draw, um, the defenders basically drop back, so the corners will drop back, especially if they're pass committing, which most people will be pass committing. So if you run a draw play, you can run this really any way you want. You can run it off tackle right. You can run it off tackle left. You can run it right down the middle. You know, it really doesn't matter. And here you see it. I mean, it just it will just crush dollar three two six dime one four six um, nickel three three five. It crushes a lot of meta defenses because of that elongated handoff. And I'm telling you right now, if you haven't tried pistol draws, pistol draws are one of the most underrated runs in Madden 21 because again. You can literally, there's just so much you can do from them. Now, if they blitz everybody, yes, that's one thing. But most people aren't going to do that. Most people aren't going to bl aren't going to blitz everybody um, at you. Most people are going to be playing coverage because again, you're in some type of spread or trips formation that you're going to be throwing the ball out of. So this this running play and running concept, this is just from the doubles. And I'll show you another formation um, that you can do it out of. And again, you can do this out of any formation. It's any pistol play. Okay, so it could be it could be two tight end set. It could be spread. Um, I find trips open is really really good for this. Um, but you could come out in the HB draw from trips. This trips draw is really really good. A nice long handoff. And you see, as long as you're you're the lanes are going to open up for you. If you're just patient with this run, um, you see here, just be patient and look at the Red Sea just part um, against most defenses. Again, if they're blitzing everybody, you know, if they're coming out, you know, let's say what you can do, honestly, if they're stacking the box, then just throw the throw bubble screens. That's what the spread offense is so, so um, good at. You know, if, if, if like a, a look like this, you might not want to run a halfback draw, but man, you might run a, a bubble screen and look at that. Now you've got. A numbers advantage on the bubble screen so you know if they're pinching their defense let me just show you if they're pinching their defense maybe they even base align it something like this right this is just a nickel defense well we'll just pop a bubble screen and that bubble screen will go for 10 15 yards out of trips but if they're not like if they are if they're you know if they're spreading out even and you'll see here um, you can you can basically you know, use the tip we talked about earlier with the double juke. And you can run this left, right, center, you know, you name it. Like, get the ball, double juke. You see that right there? And and one thing you do have to be careful when you're doing the double juke, it's a little sensitive on the trigger. So, you know, do understand that. But basically the way you double juke is you um, flick the right, um, flick the juke button opposite 
of the side and then just flick it back to the other side that you want to go. So you're either going to jump, double juke to the right or double juke to the left. So basically the side opposite and then you go and you see that right there really does open up some running opportunities for you. And you can cut this back. Um, you know, you can go all the way to the left. And I like to use double jukes to kind of set up my cuts. Um, we did a video about that earlier today. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But you'll see um, when you, you know, right there, you know, obviously he's, he's sacking the box. He's blitzing. But if the defense isn't blitzing you, you know, that, that draw is really, really good um, from the trips. And then you can also mix in those quick bubble screens. And then, you know, once you've got them on their toes for the running plays, you've got some pretty good passing plays here out of that trips formation from the trips uh, pistol trips uh, set. But you can do this out of any pistol play. I'll show you another pistol formation real quick. Um, but th these these pistol um, these pistol halfback draws this year are really really good. Also, the pistol RPOs are really good. It's so like the zone runs or the stretch alerts, like. Those runs are really, really effective. Um, let me see if I have a draw on the ace. It'd be sick if we had a draw on the ace. Um, like you could go to the wide trips here, probably. Maybe the spread. Spread's probably going to draw. Does it? Oh, maybe it doesn't. So I guess only a couple playbooks here, you know, really. But the doubles Y offset has one. And you can really use this. That nice long handoff. And you're able to just sweep right on in. You know, this is a really, really good running play. Um, you know, I like to use it because, again, most people aren't going to blitz everybody to stop the run. Most people are going to go to man coverage. If you're running man coverage to try to, try to stop this run, you know, you're going to have a hard time. And then what's going to happen is if they start blitzing everybody, then they you say, oh, you get a read like this where the box is packed. Well, then you audible, audible out, and now you can hit your quick flats. You can hit your quick your your quick post routes. You can hit you can. There's some other plays in the pistol that you can utilize, but this right here, you know, kind of gets you started with some with a little concept that really is fairly effective, um, especially if you use that double juke tactic um, in the backfield. So once you get the ball, literally, I'm just going to double juke to the right, and you see now I'm running it like it's a quick sweep. I get three to four, three to four, three to four. You know, same kind of thing here. You'll see I'll catch the ball, and now double juke. To the left, double jump back, and look at that. That's a quick, quick three, quick two. Um, using the double jukes in combination with this, as you're looking to see where the hole's going to open up, because if there's no hole there, just double juke out of it, and you're good, right? If they blitz you, just double juke out of it. Like right there, I'm just going to juke left, and I'm out. The quick jukes this year really allow you to turn a lot of runs into success. Um, right there, there's the double juke. We get outside. Click up, but you see how the draw, because it's a nice long handoff, it gives you as a as a running back time to see the field. Where is it open? Okay, I know I see this lane open, and now I can get out. You know, this is why Emmett Smith really loved the draw plays, um, specifically from iForm Pro, the lead draw. But you see, this is a really, really good run because you can run it in multiple directions. So anyway, just wanted to share this for you. Also, if you guys have not already, be sure to join the Discord. There's a link in the description for that. Um, Discord is a great place where we can share ideas as a community, really come together. Um, and I just think it's an awesome place. Discord is basically a communication platform. So would love to have you join our Discord. It's just kind of my channel only. So um, people just talk and mad 24-7, which I love that. Um, so be sure to jump in that Discord. Guys, we've got a couple more videos coming for you today on YouTube, so stay tuned. But I just want to give uh, another quick concept to you, just something to think about uh, when you're putting your run game together. I think these draws really are pretty good this year. So just wanted to share that with you. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in a little bit with our next video.